and good morning and welcome to episode two of our South Division podcast. Today we're going to be t- discussing financial well-being and the great news is we're joined by Alex Henley, Health and Wellbeing Advisor for the Co-op. Good morning Alex. Good morning Peter. And one of our store colleagues who's used our financial services, Jodie Basson, who's a team leader from Kennington in Famisham Road. Good morning Jodie. Good morning Peter. And thanks for joining us today. So I'm going to kick off with you Alex. And I'm going to dive straight in. I'm conscious of the economic climate and some of the challenges post pandemic and the impact that that could have both short and long term. So why is financial well-being so important? Thanks, Peter. It's a really great question. I I think the best way to describe it and the best way to talk about it is, is what money is and what it does for you. So money is really just a tool for us all. It's how we put a roof over our head. It's how we put food on the table. It's how we get heating and lighting. And it's how we get to do the fun things that we want to do in life. And because of that, it makes it so important for our overall well-being, for our mental health, for how we feel about how our life is going. And so money is absolutely central to our, our, our happiness, if you like. And I think what's happened really over the last 18 months with the pandemic is there's been a lot of a lot of colleagues who will know from their partners about the impact of furlough and people losing their jobs and there's been a lot of support out there from the government but what i think we're going to see over the next next year or so is as that support unwinds a lot of chickens are going to come home for roost for people so money is going to become more important as a topic of conversation than it's ever been before and our colleagues are going to need more support than ever before Thanks, Alex. That, that's really helpful. So, so bearing this in mind um, and understanding that our vision is cooperating for a fairer world, and obviously a key part of that cooperating for a fairer world is looking after our colleagues. Can you tell us about some of the services we offer to support with this, please? Yeah, absolutely. So I think, first of all, I'm going to give a mention to Wagestream, who many of you will have heard about over the last six months. Wagestream is a new benefit that we've launched to colleagues uh, through the first half of this year. It's a pretty simple tool. It lets you have access to some of your pay before payday. So it lets you bring a bit of money forward from payday if things are tight, if you need to to, put food on the table, um, if there's an unexpected bill. It's really helpful to a lot of our colleagues for doing that. As well as that, Wagestream also lets you save money. So it can let you build up a little buffer, a little fund of money so that if these things happen, you don't have to draw from your pay or you don't have to borrow. You can have a little bit of cash behind you. And that's all done automatically on payday once you set it up in the Wagestream app. And it's also got some great learning materials in there to help you really understand uh, money and the impact that it has on your life and how you can plan your your budget better. So that's Wagestream and, and colleagues can get Wagestream very simply, um, you just go to the Google App Store or the Apple App Store on your phone and you type in Wagestream. And if you wanted more information, um, www.wagestream.co.uk forward slash co dash op. And there's all of the stuff there that you need to understand more about what Wagestream is and if you want to sign up or not. So Wagestream, absolutely number one for, for me at the moment. Um, I'd also like to, to sort of bring colleagues' attention to um, grocery aid and to step change. Um, Grocery aid isn't something that we talk about an awful lot, um, but grocery aid are a charity that supports the grocery sector. So everybody that works for co-op, but also everybody within our supply chain from from farm to fork can be supported by the grocery aid charity. And they do some amazing things, some of which might sound a little bit similar to LifeWorks, our employee assistance app. Um, So they provide counselling services, they provide um, help, um, a helpline for emotional well-being, you can call them up. They've got an AI counsellor app called Wobot that you can download to your phone and you can use to get a bit of support if you're finding times difficult. Um, They've got specialist support for issues like gambling, they can help you get legal advice if you need a bit of that as well. Um, But they also provide hardship grants. And I think a lot of colleagues won't know about that, Um, but the hardship grants that Grocery Aid provide 
um, help a number of our colleagues just to get through the year. So it is things like, um, you know, the fridge is broken, uh, the, you know, the, the, the car's gone wrong, you can't afford to get to work. These simple things that happen to so many of us. Um, but if you meet their criteria, grocery aid are able to, to give you some money um, to, to help you do that. There are rules around eligibility, um, but actually they're, you know, they're, they're pretty reasonable and pretty fair. They're an incredible charity. Um, so even if you don't need the support that Grocery Aid offer, if you ever wanted to raise some money for them, they would love it if, you know, if our colleagues went out and did that. And you can find out lots more about Grocery Aid at www.groceryaid.org.uk. And then lastly, I just want to mention Step Change because Step Change are the absolute experts if the wheels come off the wagon with money. So Step Change are a debt charity. And what they do is they help our colleagues who have fallen into trouble with money. And when you don't know what the answer is yourself, they're there to help you figure that out and figure out what your options are. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. You can do that by phone. You can do that online. Um, they've got an online 60 second debt check and they've set up a little website just for co-op colleagues. So if you go to stepchange.org forward slash coop, find all that information there. They are really your lifeline when you're, you're struggling with money. That's brilliant, Alex. Um, I, I, again, I'm learning all the time and I'm learning about step change there. Um, grocery aid do some fantastic work. But what I want to talk about now is wage stream, the, the first example you used. And I'm really pleased and proud one of our 17,500 colleagues in the South, Jody's joined us today to talk about the experience of using wage stream. So Jody, welcome. Please could you tell us a little bit more about how you used it? Yeah, yeah thanks Peter. Um, so I'm actually quite new to co-op. I've only joined in April and I was shocked about how many services and how much co-op actually appreciate their colleagues and so I'm quite young myself and I've only recently just moved in with my partner moving out my parents house everyone knows that's a major difference and a major expense so I was moving in quite worried about expenses and everything and then when I found out about Waystream and all the benefits that it could offer it just put my mind completely at ease I've used it a couple of times in most of my paychecks I'm not going to lie whether that be a hundred pound or even 20 pound and it is literally just so easy even for unex unexpected expenses it's just it goes straight into your bank account you don't need to worry about it it's put my mind at ease instead of getting a payday loan or something simple like that um, and it has really helped me even on terms of helping my mental health where we've paid all our bills and we don't really have a lot of money left but our friends are going out so instead of us not being able to get the money i've been able to take out 30 pound out of wage stream and it's just made us still be able to have a social life as i just feel like that's really incredibly important and it's just majorly helped me it's taken away added stress and it's just helped me carry on my life as normal and not have to worry and at the same time I've also used because I've never been that good at financial things never and um, back in the day I've even used step change and that completely changed my life as well and I just think it's, it's so important that people out there know the services that we do offer them. Jodie thank, thank you so much for sharing um, do you feel that your financial well-being has improved since using these services then? Yeah, incredibly. Like I said, I struggled a lot. And with Waystream, I know that I have the potential to organise and save my wages each month. So it's completely changed my financial mind. And I know where I can be at, especially as well. It does have a tool, obviously. It's the Waystream is, doesn't include overtime. It just includes your set wage. But I do also have the, like, right in front of me, what I've earned so far what I can save and what I can take out. So I think it has incredibly helped my financial well-being. I'm going to ask you the difficult question now, Jody. Um, clearly, some of these um, challenges are personal to individuals and you've been brave and uh, very confident coming on on the cast this morning. Um, what would you say to colleagues who perhaps are a little bit apprehensive um, talking about money and perhaps explaining that financially 
you're not in a good position. Um, it's something that some colleagues may feel embarrassed about or not have the confidence. What would you say to those colleagues? Um, so before I actually moved out, I did also struggle with financial and I did have a lot of problems and I kept it to myself and it just got worse and worse and worse until my dad came along and my dad said to me, and it always sticks in my mind, that one problem shared is one problem solved. And from that, I've just been able to like I know it is a nerve wracking thing to talk about, but as soon as you share that problem with someone else, they're going to be able to help you, whether it's advice, whether it's telling you where to go, giving you advice on where to go or even the services that we offer. So I think even if you just talk to your manager or if you talk to a friend, it's just one step closer to being able to sort it out. Thanks, Jodie. And I know lots of people listening to the cast will have heard what you've said and hopefully take some of the support that we provide that Alex has highlighted earlier. I'm going to come back to you now, Alex. And after listening to Jody, what advice would you give to our other colleagues around their financial well-being to go from survival to saving? Well, Jody's, what Jody's been telling us is absolutely brilliant. And, and I think she's made the most important points, really. And that is that you have to engage. Right? It's so, so easy to just hope it'll be all right and think oh it'll it'll get sorted but it, it's really difficult you you've got to you've got to you know not put your head in the sand you've got to get out a bit of paper you've got to write down your bills and everything that's going out you've got to know what money's coming in and, and you've got to figure out how you're doing and and it's really tough to do it it's it's scary to do it but if you you know if you're brave and you focus and you do that you start to get back control and you start to feel better about your finances and you start to feel like it's just a weight off your shoulders. And if you can get help with doing that, and as Jody said, whether it's a friend or a family member or a colleague, you know, if we talk about this and if we help each other, we'll get there and we'll be able to make things a little bit better for each of us as we do that. That's brilliant, Alex. And for such a challenging subject, I feel very, very energised uh, by, by this morning's conversation. So I'm going to come to you both with one final question. As I say, I feel totally energised by it and I hope others have listening in. So how do we continue to raise awareness about the importance of financial wellbeing and the services we offer? And I'm going to come to you first on that one, Alex. Well, we've got to keep the conversation going, Peter. That That's the, the secret. Everyone who's listening to this podcast hopefully knows a little bit more about some of the benefits that are out there for co-op colleagues. Don't keep it to yourself. Talk to people, talk to your colleagues, let them know what there is to help and support them and just share your experience. The more we talk to each other about this stuff, the easier we're going to find it to, you know, to get better and do a little bit better with our money and feel a little bit happier in life. Thanks, Alex. And Jodie, what would your answer to that question be? Um, pretty much the same as Alex like we've got the services out there we just need to keep the conversation going on the offer of the services and just be brave and speak up and i do think it helps when there's a continuous conversation so if somebody's a bit nervous you share your experiences and make them feel better about it thank you so much to both of you i found the podcast very very interesting very engaging and lots of positive energy. And as I say, if, if this has impacted on one colleague, fantastic. If it can impact on all our colleagues across the co-op, even better. Thank you both for taking the time out this morning. Have a great day. And I look forward to hearing more from you as the weeks go on. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Peter.